as you can see we are almost at 7,000 subscribers so what i need y'all to do real quick go down below smash the subscribe and that's the subscribe button hit that bell and make sure you hit all notifications that we can get all notifications when i upload daily on this channel today ladies and gentlemen we finna check out a new video from Corey, man. Another spooky, scary Sunday, man. Even though it's not Sunday, we ain't gonna say nothing. We ain't gonna say nothing. But y'all can already see the proof is in the pudding. I already smashed that like button. So don't, don't, don't even try me, Corey. Don't even try me, Corey. But let's get straight to this, man. Some of the most fire intro music ever. I'm paying attention. I got you. I got you. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Y'all know what time it is. Spooky Scary Sunday. Back at you on time. All right. Who gonna tell them? Got a jam packed yeah. episode for you all today. So everybody, come on in. Come at least on, you know. Out. At least you know. In the back. Hurry up. Hey, take it all day. You step on all them Spooky Scary Sunday. Who want to explain to the newcomers what it is? While y'all do that, I'm going to talk about my merch real quick. Rocket the oh so premium 10 mil play button design. 10 mil. Guys, be sure to get your Corey Kitchen 10 mil merch today. Love to see oh, it. by the way, let me tell y'all about this scam website real quick. It's called Merch Zezer. Hey, Merch Zezer. Yo, real quick, the person that's running that site, get ready for the lawsuit that's coming your way. Ooh, you see an ad that looks like this? Or you go to any URL that's not CoreyXKitchen.com. It is a scam. So, Merch Zezer, you asked for this one. The lawsuit is coming. I hope them dollars that you made off of my name was worth uh -oh. it because you're in trouble. But anyways, CoreyXKitchen.com, uh -oh. guys. Make sure you check your URL before you order anything. Uh, let's get started. Spooky Scary Sunday for uh, the newcomers. I won't name call y'all today. It's the show where... Hey, man, listen, you ain't got to do that, though. You ain't got to do that. I mean, I know I'm kind of new here, but listen, we learning. Every Sunday, we learning. the Samurai come together as the beautiful tribe that we are. We get together and we watch some scary videos sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday. You go to Twitter, follow me at Corey Kenshin. Use the hashtag Spooky Scary Sunday and leave a link to the scariest video that you know. And if your video gets picked, you get a shout out. Guys, shout out guys gone. Like, it's it's weird. So sit back, relax, <laughs> relax, relax, relax. Go ahead and get you some chicken nuggets, some french fries, and get you a water today. We'll do a healthy bev. And with all that being said, first video. I drink out my water. Oh yeah, for now, the setup is like this. I'm gonna change it back to the original setup in a, in a little, man. I just had to uh, re-download some stuff, you know? Now the first video of this week is called Story Time, and it was uploaded by Treats for Beasts. Now this was sent to us by Ruby, who said this video left me with an unnerving feeling. Well, I'm looking at this dude's I'm face, scared. and I'm looking at his baby's face, and I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Let's watch. Ah, uh, you all right, man? It's story time. Okay. Ugh. What's the baby? <laughs> Story time. Z is cooking. What? This windows are steam. Why is he? <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable right now. Like, I gotta break it up. I gotta digest this in five. Z is it. Z is cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. This windows are steamy. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> Bro, that, that static is me. messing with me. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a scene. For a what? Scene. Bro, what are you staring at? I feel like he's staring at my soul. Like he's on his boots. All right. We have to leave now. <gasps> oh! He stole that baby! You wanna look at the scene? What? Okay. 
The tree is lonely. It's perfect for a scene. What? Bro. Uh. <laughs> okay. What? You can eat colors? You know when you go to bed after you eat Taco Bell and then you just have like dreams or nightmares that make no sense? Literally that. You know what I mean? With the first half, I'm thinking like that dude kidnapped that baby. The second half, I'm sorry I have no explanation for you. Like literally. Matter of fact, Ruby, how did you even find that video? I didn't understand that, but it was creepy. That's all I'm gonna say. Alright, this next one is called Four True OnlyFans Horror Stories. And this was uploaded by the legend Horror Shorts Party. Now, this was sent to us by Love Mirror, who said, I want a neutral grain bar, react to the first one. I got instant chills. You don't even gotta tell me. I'm dropping these off like you do your kids at school. Here you go. Open your mouth up. Here we go. We in here. Horror Shorts Party. We in here. OnlyFans. I was in my early 20s and was unfortunately unemployed. Uh -huh. The stress of not having a job while living with the obligation of having student loans, in addition to the monthly payments for my student housing, always weighed heavy on my shoulders. I got you. I was a student majoring within the medical field, so the majority of my time was delegated to schoolwork and applying for jobs online, yep. as I was living off the funds I made from my last retail job. Mm. The quality of my life at this time was both extremely stressful and depressing, mm. as I would literally live off eating crackers and cheap instant noodle packs. Girl, come see this. They got a ramen noodle exhibit. You know that's your favorite. <laughs> Be careful, children. That's a lot of sodium. I would even go as far <laughs> as to sleep hungry sometimes, just to save every last dollar. Hey, that's the grind, though. Hey, everybody started like this. Well, not, not everybody. Most people start like this, though. I'm back Facts. in my day, when it was my turn to go through the trials and tribulations. There was no OnlyFans. Now, would I have done it? I might have, you know, put a couple of toes on there. You know? <laughs> crazy. Not a couple of toes. Man. Possible to help pay for my rent and school funds. Uh huh. I remember staying up late one night. Oh, is that the same human being? <laughs> I had a biology exam coming up within a few days. Uh huh. I could recall being overwhelmed from the monotonous material I was drilling into my head yeah. when I heard a loud knock on my door. Dang! Sarah? Sarah, can you answer the Sound door? Effects. It's Charlie. Hello? I know you're in there. Who? I heard you watching TV five minutes ago. Yes? What do you want, Charlie? I need to talk to you. Can you please answer the door? Don't no. answer that, though. Why did you open the door? Hey, Sarah. You know your rent is due, right? Okay, landlord. I'll get it to you by tomorrow. Gotcha. I've just been a little flustered with school. And... Don't worry. You can give it to me tomorrow. Thank you so much, Charlie. You're a lifesaver. To make it easier on you, I do take other forms of payment. Oh! <laughs> me too movement. Me too movement. Run it back, Turbo. Getting him up out of here. I do accept other forms of payment. What do you mean by that? Right, what are you talking about? Huh? Oh, you think just because I'm a female, you're gonna extract some other form of payment? What a what way? You right? I'll get it to you by tomorrow. I've just been a little flustered with school. Don't and... worry. You can give it to me tomorrow. Thank you so much, Charlie. You're a lifesaver. To make it easier on you, I do take other forms of payment. You know. What you talking about? Uh, I'm good. I'll just pay you tomorrow. What's wrong, Sarah? I'm just trying to help a pretty little girl like you out. Oh! Don't you want my help? <laughs> Don't worry. It'll only take five minutes tops. We'll act like nothing ever happened. Oh! I'm clutching my pearls right now. Women, That's I am disgusting. So, let me apologize on the behalf of men. First of all, we don't claim, we don't claim men like this, all right? If y'all have ever had to deal with something like this, I am so sorry. That, I mean, imagining 
my child having to deal with something like this. I'm like, hey, um, you you always want to approach confrontations so calm because it disarms them once you turn up. Like, hey, um, so my daughter, um, she told me that you offered other forms of payment for uh, the rent. Yeah, she was saying something about you said it was going to take five minutes. Yeah, the only thing is you want to be dead in the next five minutes, boy. Oh, what's that? Oh, you can't breathe? Oh, well, here, why don't I give you five minutes? And if you survive that, I'll let you go. How about that? Like, <laughs> girl like you out. Don't you want my help? Don't worry. It'll only take five minutes tops. We'll act like nothing ever happened. Wow. Like, Imagine that's so weird, not man. having to worry of paying a single bill again, Sarah, for just a measly five minutes of your time. Did I ever tell you that you look just as beautiful as my daughter? I said I'm good. Oh, hell no, oh, man. What the fuck? How are you gonna make mention and compare somebody that you're trying to sleep with to your daughter? Better pay me tomorrow, you little brat, or else you can get the hell out of my wow. property. Wow. I've always had unsettling That's vibes from my landlord the day I moved in here, mm. but unfortunately, like if I was her, I would have moved him. Ain't no way, boy. They couldn't really do much as the housing market for students around the area were either occupied or way over my budget. As busy as I was with school, I was always a social butterfly at heart and had a pretty decent following on my social media. I unfortunately didn't make any money online, but I did have about a couple hundred fans in my DMs and comments section asking if I had an OnlyFans. Mm. I, of course, didn't own one as I was always hesitant in encountering weirdos within the online right, world. Right, right. I really didn't want to run into the risk of being recognized by any school colleagues or relatives for that matter, exactly. considering the internet was a large place where anything could be shared or screen recorded nowadays. Yes. That's very true. At the time that this occurred, I was extremely eager to make any form of income without having to deal with the hassle of working a regular oh job, God. which is why I ultimately decided to sign up for an no! OnlyFans account. Another one by Sadat. I decided to take a couple of provocative selfies of myself while wearing some outfits that I thought would be appealing to the rather large male audience I had accumulated through my years on social media. AKA simps. I even went as far to take self-portraits of myself in bed using a professional camera I had owned. I remember uploading the catalog of images on my profile while promoting it on my Instagram story just to see if there was going to be any first time buyers willing to see the other side of me. Uh -huh. I made sure to hide the stories from my close relatives, especially no. my mother, as I didn't want them knowing I wanted to explore the mature side of- See, that's the thing about the internet, man. Once it's there, it's there forever, man. It's like, it's hard to get rid of it, you feel me? Myself. They're gonna find and that it. I wasn't solely depending on making a living using OnlyFans. I can recall it not even being five minutes yet, when I noticed a notification on OnlyFans. I then refreshed my homepage, only to see that I got my first paid subscriber. Five minutes? If I had to be honest, I was quite thrilled at the notion that anyone would be interested in me. Or should I say my looks? I remember the user then sending a message saying, Hey beautiful, happy to be your first OnlyFans sub. I typed, Thank you, let me know if you'd like to see more. The yeah, user then playfully requested is. for several provocative pictures of myself wearing lingerie. I felt a little uncomfortable hearing such a request, but I knew in the back of my head that this was going to take some getting used to, hmm. especially if I wanted to pursue a potential career on OnlyFans. Career? Regardless of who career? this person was, I decided to take the requested pictures in oh. front of a mirror using my cell phone. I then uploaded the images onto my laptop and charged the man a lump sum of $50 per photo. The man then responded, I want to be your one and only customer forever. Huh? I obviously found this a bit alarming, but casually brushed it off by telling the user I was going to go study and that I was going to catch him later. I then made my way to the kitchen to make some instant noodles while resuming the dreadful exam preparation I had procrastinated on since the beginning of the day. I remember studying for at least a good two hours straight before calling it a night. I then headed back to my bedroom only to notice my laptop was still open and wanted to see if there was any further activity with my OnlyFans account. Mm -mm. 
That's when I saw at least a hundred unread messages coming from the same what? users no. that I had interacted with no. earlier. 100? The messages varied from things like, Where are you? To, Hello? I've been waiting for you for hours now. Look at the last one. Y'all suckers want to make our OnlyFans? Get ready for that lifestyle that you signed up for. Get ready. To really aggressive messages like, Answer me, ho. Dang, this I'm a garden tool now? Found it. As the user then seemed apologetic towards the end of the messages, as if he suffered from bipolar disorder. Nah, you're blocked. I honestly contemplated on blocking this guy, but as I scrolled through the messages, I noticed one of them offering to pay me $100 if wow. I sent a video of myself crying on camera. Mm -mm. I couldn't tell if this guy was joking or if it was some sort of sick f of his, but I decided to oblige as I really needed the money. I began to screen record a video of myself using my webcam and began to force myself to cry by thinking of sad things like the death of my grandmother or the divorce of my parents you and how my dad left my this? mom hanging to be a deadbeat dad. I eventually stopped the filming and sent the video to the user for a price tag of $100. About five seconds later, the user immediately sends another odd request, as if he disregarded my last video and was craving for more. The message read, Can you stick your finger down your throat and vomit in a bucket? Bro! I'll pay you another hundred dollars. What? what the hell? What a freaking weirdo. This seemed extremely no. off-putting, but I felt as if You're I was part of to do so, considering I was an extremely broke student and needed any kind of funds I could get my hands Are on. You about to do it? I decided to grab a large bowl from my... I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon. The audacity of this woman to call him a weirdo and then go look for her bucket. I mean, bowl. What a weirdo. <laughs> okay. Uh, pause on all of that. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> all right, Corey, we got pause the image, fam. Everything that I just did. Matter of fact, I might Jeez. censor that. <laughs> uh, Y'all not about to put that in no fan edits, nah. The kitchen cabinet while contemplating my conscious decision to do such a thing. As I sat in front of my laptop, I held the bowl with one hand and stuck my index finger down my throat with you the other, are nasty, while simultaneously dude. trying to regurgitate Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, not the sound effects, oh my! Uh, <laughs> this is the craziest one ever! I told y'all to get snacks, y'all eating, and then this girl. Oh, they got it. They got it. <laughs> did Arian, did you do the sound effects for this? Hit us with that. <laughs> my throat with the other, while simultaneously trying to regurgitate oh. the instant noodles I had just eaten. <laughs> oh, that's gonna. Oh, it made me sit to my I then dog. sent the user the video with a price tag of one hundred dollars. Again, the user instantly replies in a matter of seconds with another odd request. His message read, Cut a handful of your hair off using a knife, and I'll pay you $200. I felt pretty hesitant at first, but as I digested the odd request, I thought it would be an easy 200 bucks, do considering anything. how I always wanted to get a haircut anyway. I responded with a stern, sure, BRB, as I went into the stern. kitchen to grab a knife from one of the kitchen drawers. As I stared into the reflection of the blade, I began second guessing myself. Why well, I got the feeling this is the the same guy that she met at the beginning of the story. As the thought of sadistically tearing my hair off with a blade seemed very inhumane. I unfortunately Now you're trying to draw lines. Second, like, let me tell you about what's about to happen with them other videos you just sent. He's about to download those videos, okay? That he paid a hundred dollars for. Re upload them. Yep. All across the internet is going to be video of you throwing up into a bowl and crying for $200. Fortunately allowed my stupidity to completely overcloud my judgment as I ended up biting on a piece of cloth while raising my hair with one hand and then slowly cutting it off with the knife on my other hand. I remember trying my best not to make too much noise from my repugnant decisions as the sheer distress from the back and forth carving of my hair left my scalp throbbing in an excruciating manner. Why'd you do it in I then that shouted, way? 
There's your stupid video, you sick freak. You happy now? Huh? Huh? As I gestured a hand with my detached hair. That's when the user immediately responds with another sadistic request, saying, Now, cut your- My bad, my bad, my bad, my ho 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 Camera back on. Finger off for another two hundred dollars. Boy, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Nah, 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 ain't no way. Get mad now? Nah, mm -mm. she's gonna be like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Boy, ain't no Do way. I really need all five? Immediately dismiss the user using profanities and vulgar language, basically telling him to go f himself. As I simultaneously block his account. I then went into the washroom and began to sit in the bathtub to reflect on my bizarre decisions and yeah. what possessed me Please to do such do. a thing. Loony. I could then hear my phone vibrating on the bathroom sink several times from the notifications set on my phone. As I got out of the shower, I checked my phone, only to see the notifications were from a user with the same profile name on Instagram. Oh, you're done, Zoe. Wow. I could tell that the user was obviously a stalker, as he had no followers but was following at least a couple hundred others. I then opened the user's messages, only to see screenshots and video footage of what transpired within our OnlyFans oh, interaction. Oh, what did I say? As I scrolled up, I noticed a lengthy message from the user asking me to bring a knife to an undisclosed location if I didn't want him to send this to anyone else. Wow. Almost like I was Are getting taunted and blackmailed at the serious? same time. Legit. Yeah. I ended up accepting the user's messages and replying with a firm, I'm gonna sue you if you don't delete those images and videos. He then responds with an image of my mother's Instagram what? and says, Is this your mom's Instagram? I then reply with, What the f***? Don't do it! I'm begging you! Go to the park now! Okay, fine, you win! I'm leaving right now, you Bruh. freak! That's when I tucked the knife underneath the band of my leggings and began to walk towards the park. Why I then text the She should just call some help, bro. Like, ain't no way. Why are you going out there by yourself, man? Thank you. For further instructions, as I surveyed my surroundings of the park, only to see a homeless looking individual laying on a bench. That's when I get another text from the user saying, Since you didn't want to cut your finger off, cut his. And I'll leave you alone. Bruh, no. I then pulled out the nope. knife and began no. to approach the homeless man. Serious? As I could see, he was completely passed out drunk from the empty alcohol bottle laying next to the bench he was sleeping on. As I cautiously approached the man, I began to elevate his pinky in midair with one hand while raising the knife with my other hand. I then swung the knife in one quick motion. <laughs> so, wait, wait. She wasn't willing to cut her own finger off, but will cut an innocent person that just... Bruh. That's when I ran back towards the main road as the man screamed in agony. I eventually made it back trash, to my place dude. and began panting in distress and exhaustion without making it obvious to the other individuals in the household that I had initially stepped out. I then abruptly got a call on my cell phone. I was a little hesitant to answer the phone, considering I had not given out any personal information to the user. Oh my. As I pull out my phone, I can see that the call was surprisingly coming from my mom. Uh, did she get the I video? I answered the phone and said, Hello? What the hell is wrong with you, Sarah? Why would you do that? Why? Have you freaking lost your damn mind? You're all over the damn Wow. Guys, man. I hope wow. you learned a valuable lesson today. Jeez, man. Now, this next one is called The Walton Files 1 Company Introductory Tape, and it was uploaded by Martin Walls. Now, I've gotten a lot of requests for this, actually, after we watched the, Ma uh, what's it called? Mandela Catalog last week. Now, this was sent to us by Cameron Wisdom, who said, you have to watch The Walton Files. It's a VHS horror series with three episodes so far. All right, y'all heard the man Cameron. Let's do this. But first, Cameron, Cameron, you, <laughs> you didn't think you was getting out of here without ingesting one of these, huh? From your boy on the house. 
Spread them lips for me. Oh, hey. How you doing? Bonds Burgers? A Cyber Fun Tech Bunny Smiles Incorporated restaurant in 1974. I'm not eating here. Period. You see that? Hi, and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Bunny? Okay. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. Okay. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bonds Burgers. Okay. Nice. This Yay. song is too long. How much is that dog in the <laughs> Bro, y'all are not cute. Bro, this is gonna give me nightmares. I don't want the dog in the window. I don't know how much it is. I don't work here. <laughs> I'm just passing by. I'm done, man. Congratulations. Bro, are you? Boy, ain't no are way. You in right Boy, now? ain't no way. These are the showstoppers. Bond, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny, a computer animated band made by BSI to entertain. So this reminded me of Five Nights at Freddy's already. Children, as a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. Okay. Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, uh, robot maintenance and repair, what? and learning how to use BSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our uh. beloved fountain. Which reads, in BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. Okay. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this. Like, who did y'all pay? Who did y'all go on Fiverr to get y'all company mascot? Y'all was going for that drunk bunny look. Like, look, I could have done <laughs> hey, this, yo. and I don't even draw. Face. What? Uh, what was that? Let me look at this real quick. So it looks like Bond's Burgers got closed for good. So they moved all the electronics, animatronics, props, and arcade machines here, and there will be a facility caretaker. What? Is my tape corrupt? Boy, ain't no What's way. Don't do no jump scares. <laughs> Mm -mm, no, nah, no, nah, fam. I don't know. I don't know what they're saying, but I don't. I don't, I don't why they? I don't know. My eyes water. Why they have to play it in reverse? Facts. Somebody take that and then reverse that. I want to know what they said. I don't do reverse sound effects. Sunlight animation presents a Bunny Smiles Incorporated cartoon. Little Bond's neighborhood. Bond's super sleepover. Written by Sarah Evelyn. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood, and a really special one for sure. Little Bond has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. Where are they friends he is at? He's planning to have a sleepover with them. He has everything set up for the perfect movie night with his friends. Okay. That's fun. I like for sleepovers. For sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's check again in... Who the freak is Billy? We don't forget any guests. John <laughs> invited Shah, Bozu, and... Who? Uh... That didn't look like Billy. Oh, that must be them. Now that everyone has arrived, I suppose it's time for the movie night to begin. Bond spent all his money on a really funny movie, which he What the frick? The friends watched the movie. Bro. I guess we can say the had a Don't do this. Okay. What did that say? Did I say let me out of here? Once the night dropped, they all Huh? Bro, I don't trust Billy. I do not trust him.
Okay. That's a weird sleep mask, but we'll rock with it. What am I waiting for? Why are you awake? Wait, I heard something in the house. Bro, showing some black tendencies right here. So y'all ever be laying down in the middle of the night and you hear something? What's like your initial reaction? It, it says a lot about who you are. Let's say I'm laid up. I'm tired. <laughs> you just joke. And then you just wait. Now, is the sounds getting closer, Facts. farther, or Facts. The same? Facts. The sounds getting closer. Y'all already know. <laughs> Shooters in my house just gonna hear. <laughs> you keep walking towards the bedroom if you want. Because by the end of this, you're gonna be looking like Swiss cheese. Not Swiss cheese. Real holy. <laughs> See, he's just listening right now. He like, what is that noise? Went to go investigate. You didn't bring the squad with you? Never. I'm missing Jack Walton. Go back upstairs, bro. A lighter. Bro, it's your house. Get the light switch. Oh my god! That one got me. Caretaker for the old Bunny Smiles facility. Oh! I'm uh, recording this because the company requires some type of archives for the work history. All right, this is a new caretaker. Something like that. I honestly have no clue because I started working here. Actually, I can barely hear him though. Yeah. Location. It's like super low. Better than mine, yeah. To work at, and I've been driving for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I can't find a place. I'm what? To the location, I think. This gotta be it. What? Bro, this is like Five Nights at Freddy's. Facts. Look, I said that at the beginning. Walk out. Leave. Bro, what is that on the thing? Whoa! Oh no! Bro, why are you not running? He's still sitting there. He deserved to die. You just gonna sit there and keep staring at the. Hello? Gee, what's good with you? What you <laughs> Bro. <laughs> what was that thing? Oh my gosh. Bro. What am I looking at? Them my eyeballs ain't. Oh, oh no! Bro, I'm gonna have to sleep with the lights on tonight, bro. Okay. <laughs> is that. Who is that? I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Hello, my name is Brian Stells, facility caretaker. So that's the guy that we just watched get mangled, right? Nah, I'm not working in no establishment where I have to take care Facts. of any 
animatronic facts electronic facts humanoid form facts. anything robotic hyperkinetic anything because i tell you what the facts. millisecond i see something like an animatronic is like facing this way you look away then it's like facing this way mm -hmm. and it's like hold on <laughs> I could have swore you were at a 90 degree. Now you're kind of at a 45. Then you look away, and then it's just like this. Talking about some. Hello, Corey. Yeah. I am an animatronic. <laughs> I like the effect <laughs> on his voice, man. <laughs> I'm done, man. Oh, you making me laugh. Hold you gotta up. chill. You gotta chill. I used to work for Von's Burger. <laughs> now, I'm here to kill you. Yeah, that, was, that was, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know okay, dog. so these next videos are pretty special. This is like a Corey X Kenshin slash Crypt TV collaboration. Now, the dope people over at Crypt TV, one of the best horror YouTube channels ever. We've react to plenty of their videos for Spooky Scary Sundays. Well, Crypt TV, they made it to the big leagues. They made a whole entire new show called Girl in the Woods that's gonna be on Peacock, which is a live streaming service. Now you can click the link in the description, watch the first three episodes for free. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is just like me supporting them. You know what I mean? Cause I mean, we've watched a lot of their stuff. This is me like bringing awareness to the show and, and just, you know, showing my support. But the CEO himself of Crypt TV sent me over some clips to show y'all and give y'all a little taste of what Girl in the Woods is here to bring you. That's I think dope. they're like eight episodes, 30 minutes a piece. Let's do it. Girl in the Woods. Now these, cl these clips, they're just snippets from different parts of the show. This is not like in order or anything. We're not gonna know any of these characters. I just asked them to bring me some like heat. Bro, I feel like she just got infected. Y'all remember on um, Bird Box, you had to like look at it at yeah, whatever it was. And that. once you look at it, you, I feel like this is exactly what just happened. Some junk plays on the TV. Imagine how quick something could spread if all it had to do was infiltrate our media devices. We look at our TVs, we look at our phones, we would all be dead. The local Very true. Look Very at her true. smiling. So What's she smiling have about? Tripled. Cormorants have returned to hunt in <laughs> Is that in a reflection? Kasha, why are you walking like that? It's my power pose. I do it before recitals when I'm nervous. Power oh, pose? Oh, how good is power dancers? I feel so safe. Anything to stay calm. What are you doing? Oh, oh, this is called the mean lane. It's like the power pose, but way sicker. <laughs> right, why is y'all in the back being it. horny? Shut the up! The mind is a steady hand. Remember, if you get too scared, if you flinch in the place of action, the blood herd will sniff your weakness and kill you. But if the ledger is right, then the hypnotist prefers to lure from a safe distance rather than attack with force, so you should be safe. Why do you suck his dress like they in high school musical? <laughs> Are y'all not in the woods about to battle these monsters? Hey, like, they just, where do y'all think y'all at right now? Good time like right here? Look, you can tell she did not come out here for games. If the ledger is right, then the hypnotist prefers to lure from a safe distance rather than attack with force, so you should be safe. Nolan, are you ready? Yes, sir. Ma'am. You cannot drop the act. The herd don't have eyes, but it will know. Once it's on to you, you must remain steady. Under no circumstances should you try to fight it. Whoa, whoa! This is not gold. That's how you are. And it comes from their world. It's out of nowhere. It's the only way to kill them. What's going on in this clip? This is Nolan. You know what to do. Perfume. All right, she about to get ready and she about to get ready to do hospital. Everything is monka dog, like bad, bad, and I just need to hear you because I'm like, you should be here. Just give me something. For what you wish for. Oh no. We're not about to do this. We're not about to do this at all. Oh. <laughs> 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 
if any monster is busting that pose, I'm sorry, I gotta laugh at you. <laughs> You're not about to freaking hit me with one of these that I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh goodness, she hit the the Doja Cat silhouette oh. challenge. <laughs> Bro, do not do don't. Why would you look away again? Stop Why would you that. do that? Oh, it sounds like a clicker. A last of us clicker. Why would you look Stop. away again? Ah. Are you not gonna run? Bro. She wanted to die. <laughs> she wanted to die. You had not one, not two, not three. How many times did she look away? Now they gave me some more clips, but I'm not trying to spoil too, too much for y'all. Something going on in this town, and it seems to be up to some young adults. <sighs> Good luck to try and figure out what's going on and how to defeat it either way shout out and big salute to crypt tv for for making this show and getting it on peacock and thank you for giving me the clips to react to it i'm excited to see how it all turns out all right you guys we're gonna get out of here i don't know how many i reacted to i kind of lost track this week was decent i'm gonna give y'all a nine um i did like the submissions though and once again shout out to crypt tv for girl in the woods be sure to check it out over on peacock that's it next week is literally Halloween next next spooky scary Sunday falls on a Halloween I don't know mm. if that's ever gonna happen again but I need y'all to bring some straight fire come on the Halloween Big episode facts. has to be Big it's got to be like the scariest episode so until then spooky scary Sunday why do you always gotta leave us with the chair just the light on Seems creepy, doesn't it? That right there, ladies and gentlemen. Salute to the one and only Corey, man. Yeah, I make sure I go smash the subscribe to Corey right now, man. Showing some love, man. But I'm gonna leave off on that note, man. Stay tuned for more Corey reactions in the near future. And we out. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Until next time.